Hi, I'm Lisa Myers Bulmash. I'm one of the jurors for Between the Fold, a group art exhibit on book art at Gallery One in Ellensburg, Washington. I also have some of my own work there in a solo show titled Never the Same Book Twice. Since we're all cooped up to one extent or another, I thought I'd take you out of your world and bring you into my world to my studio where all the magic happens. I'm very lucky to have a dedicated studio space because for the longest time my studio was the kitchen table. So whenever we had a meal, I had to sweep away my studio space. But now I have lots of natural light and storage, which is pretty important to me because I make work that brings together lots of little things to make something different. Up here, I like to keep some of the tools that I don't use every single day, like my Dremel tool. I also keep really basic stuff like hammers and hand saws. And I also store some of my wood panels for collages up here. Further down is where I keep some of my really essential tools that I use every day. For example, my heat gun, which is indispensable to hurry along drying times. I also keep my clamps here. These are really important for me because as an altered book artist, a lot of times I have to clamp something into place for hours at a time, and I have plenty of options to do that now. I do have a few of my prints up of some older work, but I don't generally keep my current work on display, and I'll explain that in a moment. This is my workspace. Right now, it is covered with a personal project of a round robin of altered books. And here's my ever so glamorous painting smock. It used to be my husband's shirt and he donated it to the cause. I just keep it closed around my neck with just one of these clamps. It's not pretty, but it works. Over here, I keep mostly the glues and adhesives and gels. So for example, this is a liquid kind of gel glue called matte medium. Over here, we have regular gel matte, which is basically the same thing, but it's not as goopy. I also have some safety equipment. I got this mask ages and ages ago, so don't worry. There is not somebody who is going without because I have this mask. I also have some eye protection back here for when I'm using the Dremel because I never know if some tiny bit will fly up into my face and possibly into my eyes. And that's a bad thing. So you'll see that I have a lot of boxes here, mostly of my current work and recently finished work. And the reason why I keep them in boxes is because I often send my work to other galleries that are out of the Seattle metro area. And it's easier to be able to keep my current work in these boxes so I can just pack it up and not worry about finding packing material or more tape, that kind of thing. For example, this particular one went to Nagadoches, Texas a little while ago. And over here is where I keep all my lovely luscious papers. I am something of a paper junkie, so I have lots and lots of options when I am making collages and altered books, sometimes even assemblages need some of the papers I have in here. And down here is where I keep a lot of paper ephemera, a lot of paper stuff that I haven't used but intend to use pretty soon, as well as discarded books that are going to serve 
as the base or the substrate for my future book art projects. And here's my big girl easel. This is a standing easel that I use when I have larger works like this. This particular collage is three feet by four feet. So I definitely need to keep it vertical in order to keep from tweaking my back or getting stuck in a really bad angle. All right, down here, kind of looks like junk, but it's not. These are scraps. And when I make collages and altered books, these come in handy for prompting new ideas and color palettes. And over here, I have storage and my paints. I've told myself that I am not allowed to buy any more colored paints anymore because I have duplicates of some. It's a really hard challenge. These are the heavy body, the thicker paints that you see like on Masters Artists palettes like Van Gogh or Rembrandt. Those are acrylics. I work in acrylics. I also have some more storage space in an actual closet. And this is where I keep a lot of my packing materials and the stuff that is not quite as glamorous but is essential for a working artist. And this structure here is both storage as well as display space. Most of the pieces here are my own, but they're really old, which is to say older than five years old. But some of them are artworks I've bought from fellow artists. And I get a chance to display them however I want for inspiration. And over here is a diptych, um, a piece of art that is in two physical pieces but is meant to be displayed as one. You will see this diptych in Never the Same Book twice at Gallery One in Ellensburg when we are all finally released from our isolation. And over here I keep some more permanent storage in the antique chest that used to be my TV stand. And over here, I've propped up a triptych, an art piece consisting of three elements that are meant to be displayed as one. So you can get an idea of the variety of book art forms and shapes and materials. And I do also have a little baby gate there. That's because I have a small dog that is very inquisitive and I need to make sure she does not get into something that might actually hurt her. Thanks for coming along on this studio visit. You can see my work on the Gallery One Ellensburg page. You can also see my work on my own website, lisamb.com. And you can also find me on Facebook under facebook.com.lmb.artist or on Instagram at instagram.com underscore lisa underscore mb underscore. Thanks for joining me.